Well, police today cleared out the occupied site at Causeway Bay. It was the last of several protest encampments on public roads to be cleared since the Occupy movement began 79 days ago. 17 people refused to leave and were arrested for obstructing police officers in the execution of their duties. Ewar Street was fully reopened to traffic shortly after 1 p.m. And outside the Legislative Council building in Admiralty, most protesters left on their own at the request of LegCo staff. We have this report from Rami Samtani. Police swooped in on Yee Wall Street this morning and cleared out the last remaining Occupy protest site. Officers arrived at the scene at 9.30 a.m. and repeatedly urged occupiers to leave. You have 20 minutes to take away your belongings. Please leave immediately in an orderly manner. After police cordoned off the area, the special tactical team moved in at around 10.20. They cut through the chains and plastic cords that bound all the barriers and moved the obstacles out of the way. Chainsaws were used to tear down a large wooden board. Outside the cordon line, Occupy supporters gathered. It took over an hour to clear the roads of barricades. Police removed all tents and obstacles that were blocking the road and pushed them to the side. Soon after, several trucks were brought in to take the rubbish away. Cleaners swept the streets and removed all posters and stickers from the road. An identification zone was set up at the junction of Yee Wall Street and Patterson Street. Protesters who voluntarily left the occupied site after it was cordoned off had to register their personal details with officers. Independent Police Complaints Council members observed the clearance operation. I can see that the arrangement made by the police has been very professional and orderly and uh, it is conducive to a very peaceful clearance action. More than a dozen demonstrators refused to leave. They gathered together waiting to be arrested. I'm willing to be arrested. Um, I'm not really worried about that, yes, because I'm fulfilling the um, responsibility of the civil dis disobedience. Yeah. Lawmakers Kenneth Chan and Fernando Jung came to support the remaining few protesters. Jung left before the arrests began. We've been here for more than 78 days. We're here today to face the ultimate clearance by the police. But even though the police may clear us out, but we have very strong determination to come back. Police issued a final warning asking protesters to leave Yee Wall Street in the direction towards Patterson Street. But the occupiers remained defiant. Officers then arrested the demonstrators one by one, taking them to a bus nearby. The roads were reopened to traffic just after 1 p.m. Bus and tram services in the area then returned to normal. Over at the Legislative Council, protesters were cleared from the demonstration area outside the building. LegCo security staff took action at about 2 p.m. They called on occupiers to leave the LegCo Plaza and demonstration area. Protesters were given one hour to pack up and leave on their own. You must leave now. Otherwise, our security staff will assist you to leave. If you do not cooperate with us, we may seek assistance from the police. Most of the protesters left voluntarily. Some moved their tents and other supplies to the sidewalk of Tim May Avenue outside the LegCo complex. A few people who refused to leave were eventually escorted away by LegCo security staff. After all the demonstrators were gone, staff began clearing up the demonstration area, removing rubbish and posters on the pillars. Ronnie Samtani, TVB News.